Hi guys, this is Soumya and you're watching Trend Buzz. First of all, very very sorry for delaying the videos because like we are work as a team, so we are engaged in a lot of activities nowadays, like college project. I'm in a college, so I college project, job, intern, and blah blah blah. So rather than that, just blabbering, I'm just going to show you and just going to tell you that what I'm going to achieving today. So I've created a day look and a glam look. So I have a bunch of a product over here. So I just uh, use those product to do my uh, day makeup and just going to more enhance and just going to like more concentrated formula and then it using it to the daytime uh, sorry night time so if you wanna like just know how I achieve yeah to yeah so you have to continue watching and yes comment in the comment section below like whatever the product you like if you use any product or any sort of a like suggestion we would love to do that for you guys and without any further blabbering just continue watching the video So guys, I'm starting with uh, moisturizer and I'm using this Onyx Care moisturizer. It is full of almond and it's very nourishing to face. So I'm using just a little bit to moisturize my face before makeup. And I'm just going to take a little bit amount because little goes along. So I'm just gonna concentrating all of those area usually like the normal one. And yes, do not forget to apply some moisturizer on your neck as well because your neck is important so finally I'm prepped and let's just move on to face makeup uh, for face I'm using this age remind concealer from Maybelline this is one of my favorite as you see I'm all down and I have to repurchase this so the thing is you have to twist it and the concealer just came out and basically uh, I'm highlighting uh, my face first and then I'll be using foundation, BB cream or anything. So I'm just gonna concentrating those area like my under eyes and everything. And where you have some pimples and blemishes to cover on basically. Right now my skin is not doing very well so I have to apply a lot of like concealer these days. So I'm taking a teaspoon out of a brush and this which is very handy and just going to blend the concealer into my skin. This concealer is just blend like dream as you can see I'm not like just forcing too much. If you're not comfortable with this you can use uh, a damp beauty blender which is again very handy. So I'm just equally like adding the brush and you have like all the concealer all your places then you feel you have to uh, add a little bit coverage so you can use foundation like I'm not feeling to use foundation today so I'm going to take my BB cream which is again a sort of a universal for me. I already uh, downed three to four tubes of this and this is almost all over. So let us see how much is came out. Oh, came out. <laughs> okay. And for this, I'm going to use the same brush you want. So you can use sort of a buffing brush like this, Kabuki brush. I'm comfortable more with this. So I'm going to take this. This is a shade lighter than for my face so it's just going to balance out my concealer because underneath the concealer and upper is the foundation. Yes, do not forget to blend your foundation BB cream to your hairline because it will look very very weird when your like foundation is like just seeing through your scalp and everything so make sure you just blend it very well. And yeah, for obviously day look, you do not want, uh, do not want to go for foundation and everything. And I just suggest you to use BB cream only. You can use Maybelline BB cream, Revlon, and whatsoever. There are a lot of BB cream which is like available in the market. So I'm using some of the BB cream into my neck as well. As I said, do not forget your neck. And whatsoever in my hand, I'm just going to dab it.
So my base is almost done and with this only compact, this is the Maybelline New York Caro Compact uh, and I'm in the shade Shell. This is really nice, light like you can obviously take and dust it off and just concentrate it your T-zone area and whatever you feel like you have a sweat on your particular area so. If you are like a drier skin person, so you can use any face mist or anything because you obviously feel a lot more cakey than an oily person. So my base is almost done. So guys, I'm done with my base now and I am going to uh, pick up some of the contouring shade uh, from this The Balm's palette and just going to give some definition and some sort of a 3D structure to my face which I really don't have. So I'm going to pick the color crisp and cob cobbler and just going to take a little amount because these are really pigmented and I'm just going to focus into my uh, forehead first. Because in this look I'm not using any blush because I'm not feeling to use any blush like I'm feeling more chiseled cheeks and everything so just take your brush like that if you don't have any contour brush then so you just have to uh, run it through between your jaw lines and like I'm sort of a bronzing slash contouring so it's somewhere between like that so just going to really warm up my skin and this palette is also have some of the compact slash highlighter shades so if you have if you don't have any compact like right now if you are using and somewhere have to go so you can uh, also use this compact to just going to highlight your eyes and everything so for this i'm going to take a clean brush and just take this color and highlight my under eyes because under eyes are always like so bright and Okay, so I'm done with my bronzing slash contouring and then I'm going to highlight my face just a little. Uh, so for highlighting, I'm using this Sivana uh, Shimmer Bricks and it's in the shade 04. It's a, a really sort of a beautiful like uh, highlighter. You got uh, 5 to 6 shade in this so you can choose according to your preferences and plus obviously where you have to go. We have to go for day and night so I'm just going to take some of the colors really lightly because also this is too too pigmented. I'm just going to concentrate my nose and just my cheekbones. And somewhere on your forehead because when you move uh, the highlighter is like in a C shape. It's like this and some of my cupids go so i'm done with highlighting yeah it's looking subtle because i want the look to be subtle uh, so coming to the eyes for eyes i'm going to use my huda beauty palette which is i recently discovered this is the uh, warm brown obsession this is a tiny pitted uh, palette which is full of the nude color it has burgundy gold pink everything so i'm going to use uh, sort of the lower palette shade because it's got some light colors so I'm using the light shade and it's got a mirror though so you don't have use any mirror so I'm going to take a brush which is very dirty <laughs> although so I'm just going to pick up this particular shade right here because it's light and it's good for like sort of a transition shade and yeah guys this color uh, blends like dream they have like sort of a creamy and powdery texture so it blend with it I'm just going to throw some little and I'm going to take this brown color, dust it off and just concentrating my 3 foot area like this and the other eyes as well. You can build up this color because these are like sort of meant to be to building up and something and for lower lash line I'm going to be use a precise eyeshadow brush for my lower lash line as well and just going to sort of smoke it out you can see the pigmentation this particular shadow is like so good 
just going to buff it out okay so eyes are done let's move on to the mascara I'm using this less sensational mascara by Maybelline this is sort of my cult favorite right now it gives you such a volume and curl to your lashes so I'm just going to use this this is waterproof also so you, if you have like a problem of sweating and everything uh, basically in summers you have to use like more uh, waterproof makeup rather than the non waterproof ones so I'm just going to wiggle and pull you can see the sudden difference between my both eyes so gorgeous just going to take it the other eyes as well like in daytime i don't feel to use a mascara on my lower lash because i want the focus on to be my like uh, the front portion of my eyes which is so that's why i'm only putting mascara on my lashes and yeah that is almost done and whatever left on your wand just comb it through your eye uh, eyebrows very like gently because you don't want to ruin your eyebrows with this because again this is pigmented and this is like like destroy your eyebrows so you just have to comb it like that so mascara is almost done and let us move on to the eye pencil uh, this is the essence gel eyeliner so this is like very pigmented it's like pigmented like hell and if you're just gonna apply in the morning and like it's gonna stay like 8 to 10 hours probably and I'm just going to draw a simple line like this I'm just going to give it a hint like not too stark of like kajal or something I'm not a very big fan of kajal so that's why I'm going to very soft look today okay yeah that's done now came to the most favorite side uh, lipstick so for lips I'm going to be take uh, this Lacme absolute lipstick and it's in the shade peaches and cream this is very very light sort of a nude pink color so as you can see it's almost like negligible when you apply on your lips so I'm just going to apply it as you can see it's very light so yes I am like finishing off my day look sort of like if you are college going and office girl anything so you can just wear it like that so this is perfect for your uh, day look so this is not very glam but subtle though so guys I'm done with my day look so uh, if you want to enhance this particular look and convert into like night look so I'm going to use this exactly same product to like touch up to compact to BB cream if you use that you just lose the coverage and everything so I'm going to uh, take my uh, damn beauty blender and just going to take my uh, compact because I'm not feeling that ki mujhe, uh, sara, like, coverage chahiye. so I'm just taking some of the uh, damn beauty blender and just going to highlight those area and just uh, your t-zone basically I'm an oily skin person so my t-zone is like every oily so I'm just going to freshen up my face with this uh, if you want to add blush bronzer you can use like whatever your preferences is so I'm just going to okay I'm done here and now there's a trick I'm going to use the exactly same color to enhance my eyes uh, although I have a mascara on that doesn't even mean so I'm going to use the same uh, blending brush and just going to uh, pick up those like upper one uh, shadows because these are very light and these are like my kind of a color so I'm going to take the burgundy sort of a brown brown color and just going to uh, top it on my upper just going to buff it like in a three-fourth motion you can see the color payoff is so good like very pigmented okay if you want to add just a little bit of uh, gold so this palette contains one gold also so gold and sort of a shimmery creamy colors work better than with your fingers rather than your brushes so I'm going to uh, use this gold color for my uh, like lid area 
and just going to place it on the center because the light just really fall down on your face and center so i'm just going to layer it up with a lot of a gold color after adding you can use a normal sort of a clean brush just going to blend the color really nice and then i'm just going to take exactly same color for lower lash line as well now this time you can go crazy you can apply mascara on your lower lash line loose liner gold liner like it's totally dependent like where are you going and sort of occasion so i've already dark enough and now i'm going to use my stay quickie uh, waterproof eyeliner i swear by this eyeliner i mean it just going to stay place all long and it didn't budge didn't like uh, like take away the liner from your eyes so i'm going to use this liner and the brush is like so precise you can make wing and any sort of a like liner so i'm just going to concentrate my like low uh, like the upper portion and just trying to make a clear wing and connect it to my half of the eyes because i want focus to be like more this side rather than this side and just going to fill this box like which i just make a triangular in shape like this and just invisible with your crease area and then i'm just going to apply on the another eye as well just going to take out a wing like sort of a line and join it through it like it's so simple you can't make exactly the same wing but yeah this is like a trick which i recently discovered and discovered from a long time after practicing a lot and lot connect it and yes you got your wing and if you are on the more on the glamour side and you want some more glitter and everything so you can use this glam crystal dazzling uh, eyeliner and this is from the sivana colors as well i just purchased these sivana products from like instagram these are so pigmented and so value for money they are not like just too costly so i'm just going to uh, do what i'm just going to uh, put the gold eyeliner uh, here only because it's just going to give a really nice effect and this photograph also very nice so yeah that's it and if you want to a face to be like more chisel and everything i'm just going to take a fluffy brush for just going to uh, check any fallout of glitter and everything so just going to dust it off really nice and i'm going to use again the same color for more bronzing you have to make a fish face for this So it's done, and for the freshen up my lipstick, I'm going to be use a darker shade of lipstick. Like you can use any color, red or like burgundy, any sort of a color. I'm going to uh, take the Nels lipstick. It's in the matte formula, and these are uh, really like stay place all long, right? So I'm just going to top it off with like my this lipstick. and just dab it on so it's sort of like matching my eyes and like lips so i'm all done if you want to add like more highlighter you can add because i love highlighter i i'm like love to going crazy with the highlighters these days so i'm just going to cuz like it's night time highlighter look crazy and if you have like party or any sort of event to go so yeah i'm done with my look here 
So guys, do not forget to tell me in the comment section below that how you like the look, like the uh, transformation to day look to night look, and just with the same exactly product, minimum amount of product. I'm not going with like full coverage or sort of a thing. So I'm signing off, and do not forget to subscribe our channel and hit the notification bell so you stay connected whenever I upload a video. And yes, give it a very big thumbs up. And आप मुझे कमेंट करके बता सकते हैं कि आपको वीडियो कैसा लगा, like if you want like any sort of a product from this, and yeah. I just mentioned all these product in the description box below so you guys check it out buy it from there and just watch my video so take care guys bye bye